everyone. Welcome to Talking Navarra Wine uh, in association with Wines of Navarra. Now, I've got three wines for you today, which are all white. And given that the production of white grape varieties in Navarra is not that great, it's run about 14% in total, then these are quite special. So what I've got for you today is two Garnacha Blancas and a Chardonnay. And let, let's see how they compare and contrast. The first is Umea, which comes from Bodegas Cadalia. Um, Bodegas Cadalia is in Lerga. It's a small bodega in the old, what was the old co-op, run by a couple who um, are doing some great work at recuperating and have here um, not only a Garnacha Blanca, but amongst their other varieties, they have a Syrah, which is super interesting and well worth looking out for. So here we are, we have a Garnacha Blanca, the vintage, let me just check on the label is, should we, I imagine 2021, it is. And interestingly, the alcohol is 12.5%. These are not heavy wines here, they've got a freshness, which you get from the northern part of, of Navarra, which is very delicious. Now the wine's unoaked, and so what you get from this Garnacha Blanca, which as you know is a variety which is much more about texture than it is about aroma, is nevertheless you get aroma and plenty of flavour. You get um, herbs, you get wild herbs, a sense perhaps of fennel, you get lovely citrus, lemon yes, maybe some kind of lime, um, lime curd character to it, um, you can go into pomelo, all those sort of varieties. And it continues to develop as I'm talking in the mouth. It's a very, very long wine. At the same time, it's only 12.5%. It's not uh, trying to be super powerful, but yet it has a very, very, very long profile. Now to our next Garnacha Blanca, which is also from 2021. And it's from a business, a well-known business called Nekeas. Um, with a very distinctive label which tells the fact that it's celebrating 25 harvests of these old vines. So the chaos is in a great site overlooking the river Sindoa and I know them particularly for their garnachas. Uh, they have some garnachas which I've often gone to seek out but this is a garnacha banker. Uh, slightly different style. It also has um, it, has, it has some wild herb aromas. And then what I love about this is it has a waves of freshness coming through. It's a bigger wine, it's alcohol, it's 13.5%. It has, again, some ripe citrus characters, but also with a, a note of something like marmalade. And it has a rather interesting pithy, sl ever so slight bitterness coming through. Now, bitterness is a really bad word to use to describe a wine. It's not attractive, but actually it means it's savoury and, and it's appealing. And I must make a mention here of the winemaker, Concha, who's been, been in the business for a long time and is, is a captivating personality who will talk to you forever about the grapes that she has. And now my third wine is not a Galacha Blanca. It's actually the most commonly planted white variety in Navarra, which is Chardonnay. And in fact, Garnacha Blanca comes fourth in um, white variety planting terms after Bura, otherwise known as Maccabeo, and also Sauvignon Blanc. Um, so we might think of it as an international variety, but actually it's long established here. And this one from Castillo de Monjardin, 2021 is um, unoaked. I wanted to show the sort of purity of, of the Chardonnay you can get. And the important thing is that it's grown at some altitude. It's, it's 650 meters. And this is an area which certainly suffers the famous wind that they get in these parts, which is, uh, it's like the Mistral. It's a very powerful wind, the Cierzo. 
um, and uh, keeps everything fresh. And indeed, I should add, there is a castle. It's not just called Castillo de Monjadin. There is there is a castle. So lovely again. They do a they do a barrel um, a barrel variety and they do an oaked variety. But this gives you the purity of Chardonnay. Which means, in this context, that yep, you get lovely freshness, you get ripeness around it. We are relatively far south, um, so you get uh, a developed lemon lemon marmalade character with that nice balance between citrus and richness, and then bitterness too, and again a resounding finish. So if you thought that Navarra was red wine, which it is, and rosé, which it certainly is, uh, think again also because it has plenty of good white wines too.